guys. Today is finally the day where we will find out if everything works. We will measure how much amp the new powertrain is drawing. And if that is too much, then we fry our flight control unit. So let's hope that we are staying close to the original power drawn by the original powertrain of the Paradisco. Let's find out after the intro. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today finally we measure how much amp is actually drawn by the new powertrain. We want to benchmark that against the values we know from the original setup of the Parrot Disco, how much that was drawn to ensure that we don't overstress the flight controller, the Chuck flight control unit from the Parrot Disco. Here we can see that by just turning on the aircraft with all systems on standby, flight chuck control unit with a spinning fan inside for air cooling and uh, in this case the servers of the wings not yet connected, uh, we have an amp draw of 0.8 amp. The original powertrain of the Parrot Disco was drawing 15.4 amps at 183 watts under full load. So we will see now where we are standing with the new setup and the new powertrain. So let's throttle up and see what's happening. So here we are staying now around 7 amps and uh, at that throttle input it will be sufficient to keep the aircraft in the air. So it's cruising speed. So for that it's fine. We are staying well below the max amp draw from the Paradisco powertrain where it was designed for. And now we are at full throttle. And here we are a little bit above. We are at 16.4 amps and the original setup was at 15.4 so we are one amp above and for the watts drawn from the original setup we were at 182.8 or 183 and now we are at 178.6 that's about 2.3 percent below with the new setup versus the original setup of the Parrot Disco so there we are a little bit better and we are focusing here right now on the extreme, the full throttle input at takeoff usually. Well, if the original full throttle value from the Parrot Disco setup was drawing 15.4 amps and now we're at 16.41, I don't think that the original design was from the Chuck Flight Controller only for those 15.4 amps. It might have been designed for 20 or 25. So I think we are good, especially because we are not always flying a full throttle. So when we are throttling down a little bit, we can see that around 7 amps draw uh, we have enough power from the engine to sustain flight, like a cruising speed. And that is less than half or half of the original max amp drawn from the original setup. So especially at cruising speeds, we are good and I don't think we are facing any issues with the Chuck flight control unit. Now I'm throttling down to just see how much amp is drawn when the propeller is spinning quite slow. And at that amp, 
two amps. I think it's kind of like an air brake since the airflow over the wings and uh, over the entire aircraft will be faster if the engine is shut off and when we are gliding rather than when we are spinning it like this slow. And that is a valuable function since uh, when we are coming in for landing we can use that at 2 amps uh, as an air brake to slow down the aircraft. And that's quite similar what the original design of the Paradisco is doing in automatic mode. The flight control unit is slowing down the propeller that the aircraft is slowing down when we are putting back on the stick and here we can do it in manual mode as well by just slowing down the propeller. Now we know that the new powertrain is not drawing too much amps and another big concern to get it up in the air is gone. So we are very close now to actually really have our first flight. Just depends on the weather and time a little bit but will be soon. And as always Thanks guys for watching, have a great rest of the day, stay safe and see you in the next one.